Hey, Linda Bamba here. How to make money with email list. But before I get into that, if you're into entrepreneurship and making money online, subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification so you get notified every time I do another video. If you also, if you want to get my number one recommendation to make two to $500 a week, click the link in the description. So how to make money with email list. And if you're in this industry, I'm going to show you a mistake that chances are if you're on this video, you're making it. So you want to stay on it, um, whether you're new or maybe you've been at this for a while, you're not getting any leads, you're not getting any sales. Chances are you are making that mistake and I'll get into that in a few minutes. But your email list and this is a sales funnel that you're driving traffic to a capture page and putting the person on your email list. And now if you're in this for any length of time and you're not building an email list, that's a big mistake. It's an asset. And this is basically, it's a very, this is a simple sales funnel that you're driving traffic here. It could be from social media. It could be from a Facebook ad, a social, um, a, like a Facebook ad, a solo ad and getting people to opt in and you, the big and the big mistake people are making and I'll share that with you in a second and I know I've done it in the past and if maybe you don't know nobody told you but you want to send people to a capture page they opt in they get on your list now most people are not going to buy on first touch so what you want to have is an email sequence and in this industry I would say that at least 14 email follow-ups are good because it is true people have to visit a website four or five times, seven times, maybe 12 times or more before they make a buying decision. And if you're not getting people on your, e your email list, you can't keep communicating with them. And a big mistake that I see people make is when they're getting traffic and maybe you're struggling to get traffic and I can give you some suggestions with that, whether it's social media or you really should be doing one paid, one free strategy is, whatever traffic they're getting because somebody's got to become a lead first before they become a sale. And yeah, I've gotten sales on first touch and that does happen. But reality is people are going to have to see whatever it is multiple times is they're taking the traffic they're getting. And instead of sending them to a squeeze page like this, where you're asking them to opt in and give you their email address, they're sending people to something like a replicated website that a network marketing company gives you or a sales page. And I've seen people buy paid traffic, they bought a solo ad, a Facebook ad, and they're not, they're sending them to the sales page. Now the problem with a replicated website, the problem with that is you've got one chance to talk to the person and after that they're gone. And with getting them on your, the opt-in and getting them on your email list is that you have you can keep communicating with them over and over again. And even when, if you have a 14 day sequence, if you're consistent and you need, should be consistent, you can keep emailing them over and over again. Eventually some of them are going to convert to a sale. And you can see it's about, you know, 50 to 75% or higher of people when they opt in, they just opt in. They don't take an action. They don't buy something. And then after they've been on the list, then that, that goes to about 25 to 50 percent. And if you've got a good email sequence, um, a lot of, excuse me, a lot of programs that you join, they may give you some email you can use. I know people, you can hire a copywriter, but that can get pretty expensive um, until you get, I mean, in email marketing, it's a skill you have to master. And I can't stress it enough. I've lost how many social media accounts that you want to be building an email list. It's your asset. It's something you own, you can control it. You don't own or control any of your social media accounts. And yeah, you can go buy paid traffic, but that's cold traffic, they don't know you. And your warm market is 10 times more valuable than any cold traffic you could ever buy. So you need to have something like this set up before you send any traffic to anything. You just don't want to go join something, take the sales page and start promoting that everywhere because you just got that one chance. And maybe, you, yeah, you might pop a sale or two, but long term you want to get people on your email list. And yeah, you need an autoresponder. If you don't know what that is, it's software that you can use. You can actually automate this. You've got email set up to go out, you know, you can set it up to go out automatically. You can set schedule broadcast out. I use Aweber. There's a bunch of them out there. Um, but if you don't have an autoresponder, if I had to pick one tool, it's 
that's the tool that I would be out of all the tools I use. It's the most essential tool. You've got to be building an email list. Drop me a comment. Do you have an autoresponder? Are you building your email list? Do you have something set up like this? Love to hear from you. Please like this video. It would help my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next video.